Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doki Metal video. And in this video, we are going to discuss uh, basically whether it's good to have less content sometimes or whether it's good to constantly have content. Um, so, obviously, at this point in time on Dokan, things are a tiny bit slower than I would say they have been the last couple months. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of recycled events, we've got a lot of you know, content coming out, but nothing too crazy. We've just finished off having the new e SBR come out. And yeah, from my perspective now, at least as a creator of Dokan content, uh, this time has actually been really good for me. Um, so I want to compare this whole downtime period to kind of like off season. Uh, so for those of you who who watch sport, you'll know exactly what off season is. Uh, if you watch the NBA, if you watch Premier League football, if you watch anything really, the off season for sport is essentially where uh, players take a break. Uh, everyone basically shunts off for three or four weeks. Uh, you don't really get that much news. And for a lot of people, it's a terrible time, especially as viewers of the entertainment. Uh, a lot of the times it's resetting of teams, resetting of coaching staff. Um, and I view these downtime periods in Dokan as similar to this. When you play Dokan all year round or any mobile game or any game all year round, you can very much lead yourself to burnout. And it's something we've discussed a few times on the channel, you know, whether we get enough content or how much content we should be getting. Uh, whether you know you suffer from burnout or you know how can you change that and for me you know when you constantly on the up when you constantly get more events more SBR more ESBR uh, when everything is hype when every summonable unit that comes out is you know a big daddy Vegeta or a Chad Ab Thriller Gogeta or you know just a lot of units that are super hype you can tend to kind of get caught into this trap of feeling like you have to play the game like i have to log in i have to do these events i have to farm this unit i have to farm these items i have to do this and i think for the most part people don't appreciate these down times enough because it just gives a lot of people time to reset i have a friend uh, who is currently struggling quite severely with their burnout on dokan uh, they didn't want to do any of the new easy A's, they didn't want to do any of the new content and when they now are able to take a break from the game without losing out on too much content at least for a week or two weeks or three weeks they have that off season it allows them to really just kind of chill out, de-stress, not feel so obligated to play the game and I think that's the same for a lot of games. I, I look at, you know, Final Fantasy obviously being the big MMO in the news right now, but I've had my experiences in the past with World of Warcraft, playing the game over and over and over again, constantly finding new things to do, constantly doing new things, and you just hit this wall. Because you never give yourself three or four weeks, you never give yourself your off season. And I think because with games, unlike watching sport or unlike playing sport, there's no mandatory off season. You can play these games forever as long as the content keeps coming up. And I think because, especially in the mobile game genre, constant content is required to essentially make people summon, to make people buy stones, to generate your income, people can get caught in this trap of just summoning and playing and summoning and playing and summoning and playing. So for me, this content lull or lesser amount of content that we're currently having is a great little break that I feel will really help players. It helps to prevent burnout. It gives everyone a nice little break from their obligations or their feeling of an obligation to constantly play the game. What's interesting is the community's reaction or at least the vocal minority of the community's reaction to these type of content lulls. A lot of times you'll see people complain, you know, Dokkan's not getting enough content, we're being denied JP content. Whatever's come out on JP will come out on Global. 
It'll happen, whether it happens this month, next month, next week, the week after, the year after, whenever. Whatever content has come out on JP will come out on Global. The thing is, you should actually take these moments where you don't have a lot of content and spend your time doing something else, spend your time trying something new, doing something different. I don't see anything wrong with us receiving trickle down or streamed content. I know for people that wish to consume consistently, it, it is um, quite alarming. And I mean, from someone who makes Dokken content every single day, people must think it's a bit weird for me to ask them to slow down the amount of content that they give out. But even in this fallow period of not having that much new content brought out on Dokken, I can still push out two videos a day on things I have not touched in Dokken. I could push out another tutorial, I could do instructional videos on Infinite Dragon Ball history. I haven't done nearly as much of the historic content on my channel as I should have. And that's the thing. Like, if you are busting out Dokkan videos every single day, you will always have content before you even factor in things like the Reddit, things like reacting to memes or, or any content like that. There's just so much stuff for you to make content on. There's so many units to review. There's so many link leveling videos to film. There's so much people can take a look at and Google and YouTube that honestly, I feel like not taking advantage of these content downtimes is actually bad for you. Like I take advantage of these content downtimes to restructure some of my content, to work on some alternate videos. Uh, I use it to kind of prep and plan. Like I finally have managed to work myself into a position of being, you know, like I have some backup videos for days when I can't make videos, which is I haven't had for a while. Um, and so from my angle, I just think that these content downtimes are good. I think personally that they are worth it and that they really, really help out. At least for people like me who play the game all the time. I use every single bit of stamina that's ever been filled into my stamina bar all the time. So coming from someone like that, I believe that there's plenty content. But I just thought I'd give my thoughts on some of the opinions about, you know, not having as much content right now as we usually would. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you think we have enough content? Do you think we don't have enough content? Do you want more content? Do you want less content? What are your guys' thoughts? And do you think, you know, having a, in inverted commas, Dokkan off-season isn't helpful to the game? Or do you think it constantly needs to be hyped? But that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care, stay safe and bye.